An East Valley homeowner says he was relying on his insurance company to fix some damage that was left over from a recent monsoon, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. A lot of people are going to identify with this mm -hmm. story right now. He says all his insurance company gave him was a hard time. He contacted Three on Your Side's Gary Harper for help. Well, usually it's your roof or maybe some trees that are left damaged from a heavy monsoon, but in this case, the homeowner tells Three on Your Side that it was his backyard block wall that was left damaged and now he says his insurance company doesn't want to pay to replace it. Yeah, so this is our, our pool area here. Victor Salazar likes to enjoy his backyard swimming pool, but that's a little hard to do when the fencing that separates his property from his next door neighbors is left destroyed and on the ground. Uh, well, I measured this out and this was, uh, uh, I think it's 27 feet, so it's quite a distance. The fencing is an old design from the early 1970s. A quick drive around Victor's neighborhood and you'll see some homeowners still have the same outdated checkerboard style wall barely standing. And its age is the very reason Victor's wall collapsed three weeks ago during a week's worth of heavy monsoon storms. I noticed, uh, you know, just uh, the wind was blowing really hard. A little bit more violently than it was the past couple of storms. Yes, yes it was. Estimates to build a new concrete wall come to around $6,000. So Victor filed a claim with his insurance carrier, Liberty Mutual. After waiting for weeks for a final decision, Victor says Liberty Mutual finally told him they would repair the wall, but they wouldn't pay six grand to replace it. They told me that they weren't going to be able to do anything other than repair the part of the fence that was damaged. Did that make sense to you? Uh, not really. According to Victor, other neighbors in the area have the exact same 50-year-old style wall, and when their walls were blown down in previous monsoons, their insurance companies paid to have a brand new block wall installed just like this. In fact, this is one of his neighbors. So why is Liberty Mutual giving Victor such a hard time? First of all, Victor says contractors have already told him that no one manufactures antiquated walls like this anymore. And damaged, even his broken, HOA destroyed, guidelines mandate that damaged forward, walls forward, must be replaced with concrete block. So Victor contacted Three on Your Side. I decided to contact Three on Your Side. I've seen a lot of the, uh, the work that you guys do helping uh, you know, a lot of people like myself that are and predicaments. Three and your side got a hold of Liberty Mutual and after explaining Victor's situation and sending in some documentation, That's they told me they couldn't discuss details form. due to privacy yeah, issues. I, However, yeah, after our involvement, well Victor like, says Liberty Mutual immediately very, contacted him and told him they would now pay six grand to install a brand new concrete block wall. Victor says it only happened with the help of three on your side. You know, we're still looking at maybe a couple weeks, a week or two to get uh, the contractor out here and get them started on it. But at least now that I know that we have the funds to actually, you know, pay for the fence, that that's a relief, really. So. Again, Liberty Mutual would not provide any details to three in your side regarding this issue. But Victor says, hey, who cares? He's got a check in the mail and he's going to pay for that wall with that check. I'll let you know when that wall goes up in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.